Hey everybody, welcome back to Everdell. Let's get back to building that village. Okay, so we are starting now in the spring and uh, you know, Mugwort's blocked all the spaces he's gonna block. What am I gonna do? Well, I was able to get those two pebbles. Two pebbles right out of the gate, that's pretty nice. I really wanna take advantage of it. So, looking around at buildings, well, I, there's the ones in my hand, uh, the ever tree, which would require three pebbles, three resin, and three sticks. That's, that's a tall order. Uh, or my chapel, which requires one pebble, but I got two pebbles, I'm eyeballing this university. Because this is a very cool power. Once I've got it, I can send my workers here to use its ability. And it's worth three points. I need one resin. So I think I want to get some resin right out of the gate. And oh no, the double resin space is blocked. So let's come over here to the special one, the one twig, one resin, one berry space. A twig, a resin, and a berry. Okay. So that's my first of three workers. And, uh, of course, Mugwort, he's already deployed his stuff. Let's go again. Now, I... Well, actually, I, I'm going to go on ahead and build this. And, like I said, it's going to cost the two pebbles and the one resin, which are the more valuable resources. Whereas the twigs and berries, they're a little bit more common. Right, so I now have a new place I can send my workers. Which basically says when I do it, I discard a critter or construction from my city. I have to say goodbye to somebody. Uh, but I get resources equal to however much it costs to build that thing. Plus one point and one extra resource. So sending uh, critters off to college isn't a bad idea. But there's another reason I'm excited about this. Because now I could, I could get, recruit the doctor for free. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. So, let's go ahead and refill the meadow and hope that Mugwort does not roll a six. Oh, that was close. He rolled a five. He's going to give himself a wood carver. That is his third production building. Four, one more, and he'll be grabbing that festival before I get a chance to get it. Okay, and a historian comes out. My turn again. So, now, I could grab the doctor for free right now, but here's the problem. His special power is uh, during production, which is immediately, and then it'll happen one more time when we head into autumn. I can pay up to three berries and gain one victory point for each. I have one berry. So now is not a particularly good time to do that. So I think before I recruit him, I'll go on ahead and grab three delicious berries. Okay, and now I will go on ahead and recruit him for free. Thanks to my university, although that cannot happen again, that's blocked, and I'll use these three berries to get three points. Okay, there we go. Easy come, easy go. And I've still got a berry and a lumber and another worker, and I just built again, so that means Mugwort is going to build again, and let's see where he goes. He goes to number seven, uh, takes these fairgrounds, which is, oh, there we go. This is it, folks. He now has the four production facilities he needs to do the harvest festival. So if I want to, if I don't want him to take that three points from me, I gotta get my worker over there. But I cannot deploy my worker there until I've got four, uh, you know, harvesting. I've got one, two, three. Ah, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. If I could just make one more, then I could get it with my last worker and prevent Mugwort from getting it. Let's see. Oh, oh, let's see. And, and a new card came out in the meadow. It's a, another farm. Needs two twigs and a resin. I cannot build that right now. And uh, Or a resin refinery needs a, a resin and a pebble. I cannot do that. I've got a farm here in my hand, but I need... I, I don't think I can do it. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything that I could build with just a single twig and a berry. That seems pretty, pretty unlikely. Mm. Now... I can't come over here to convert my cards I'm not using into resources I need. Even if I did, even if I could, this is not a four-player game. Even if I could, then I wouldn't have the worker I need to come over here and claim the Harvest Festival. So, I think he's got it. I don't think there's much I can do about that. Unless I can come up with some clever trick. And this game is full of clever tricks. Uh, on the, let's see. I mean, yeah, I mean, I could go to visit my university now. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Would that have been a better way to go? <sighs> yeah. If... Okay. So this might have been a... Rather than try to get the three points out of my berry conversion, I could have recruited him and just gotten one point. And then that means I would have kept him around to go to the university to discard some stuff and get more resources that would let me build... 
I think that's what I should have done. So, folks, um, hey, it's solo. Mugwort doesn't mind if I do a rewind. Um, I know I know my viewers hate it, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to rewind. I did not come over here, which means I did not get the three berries, which means I only got rid of one berry, so I only got one point out of that. Um, because I did go on ahead and build the university and get the doctor, and I just had one berry. But that means I've got two workers now. Uh, and what do I need to get? I need to get one twig and one resin to be able to build another farm, either one, and uh, let's see, or a twig of resin and a, a pebble to build a lookout, which would be nice as well. This is very cool. This basically, you send your worker here to copy any other forest space that might be blocked. So that'd be really nice too. But the farm is nice. It means I'm going to be producing more berries. It means I'd be able to, if a husband ever comes along, I can get him for free and get uh, Miss Mouse married off. So that might be nice. Yeah, okay, I am going to... Now, there's another way. I could come here, and that means I'd get rid of somebody. Probably the Postal Pigeon, because he's not worth any points, and he's not doing anything for me anyway. So, I'm going to come here. I'm going to... No, wait, but no, the problem is, I can discard a critter uh, or a construction for my city, get resources equal to what it costs, plus um, one extra resource and a point. So, that would give me two berries and a thing. That's not what I need. I need to destroy something... Well, hey, you know what? This farm, I could tear that farm down to build a new farm. I'm going to do that. I'm going to come to the university. And uh, basically, I'm going to discard my old farm because I already used it to do a recruit anyway. And so that gets me two twigs and, a, and the resin I need. Oh, no, my twigs. These round, rolly twigs. They are pretty, but man, they are kind of a pain. Two twigs and a resin and a point and one more resource of my choosing. I think I'll take another pebble because they, again, they are the toughest thing to get. So I did that and I said goodbye to my farm and now I've got all the resources I could build. Let's see, do I still want to build a farm or do I want to... Oh, I could, I could build that lookout now that I was just talking about. That lookout is worth two points instead of one and who knows if a husband is ever going to come out. Let's go for that instead. Particularly because if, um, if I have a lookout, that means I could recruit a wanderer for free. And if a wanderer ever comes out, I need a monastery plus a wanderer to finish that particular objective. So let's go with that. All right, so I'm going to spend one resin, one twig, one pebble. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I can't do that, though, because I'm doing this so that I can get... <gasps> no! Oh, my goodness. All right, here's the problem. I got rid of the farm, which was the third production building I needed to get the Harvest Festival. So no, okay, I couldn't have trashed this. Oh, folks, that what seems like, on the surface, just an incredibly charming little, um, you know, a little, little, almost a kid's game, it is surprisingly deep. There are so many avenues for exploration you could do here. Let's see here. So if I did not trash that because I didn't come here, because I don't want to trash it. Oh, let's see, what else got I trash? I, well, no, anything else, I'm just going to get the berries. I, I, yeah. So that's not going to do it. I need to, yeah, my second guy, I'm going to come over. Well, I, I can't come there again. I, what do I need? All right, so I'm just going to come here to the Haven. I have to discard four cards because that'll give me the twig and the uh, resin I need to be able to build that farm so that I've got the four so that I can do the Harvest Festival before Mugwort does. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Although, again, it doesn't have to be the, no, it does. It does have to be the farm or the resin. The resin refinery is, no, it needs a pebble and, uh, yeah, so either way, it's the same end result. Oh, but this lets you generate resin instead of berries. So that's pretty cool. All right, anyway, I got to get rid of four cards. I don't know if the castle's ever going to come out, and I don't think I'm ever going to save up six berries. So I'm going to say goodbye to the king. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say goodbye to this farm because there's that one out there, and I'm gonna say goodbye to the ever tree because it's crazy expensive, and I think I'm gonna say good. Well, hmm. <sighs> oh, so many tough choices. Because here's another way I could achieve my four. I could just get this peddler out for two berries. Two berries is a lot cheaper to get. Because uh, I could just get three berries over there. I get him into play. I've got my four. Yeah, I could do that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I really should have decided what I was going to do before I started filming. Um, right. Let's see here. No, no. No, I'll stick with it. I'll, I'll come here. I'm getting rid of four. This might be a bad move. 
And okay, I'll get rid of that peddler. I'll keep the chapel as say, maybe uh, you know a destination space I'll go to. Because if I've already got one, if I get three of these and I'm quick enough, I could score the Grand Tour before Mugwort. So I'm keeping that card. So because of all that, I got the resin and um, the twig I needed to build for my next action, this, my second farm. I now have two farms. Okay, and as soon as I built that, I immediately got one berry, and it'll trigger again at the end of autumn. And uh, I could now find a husband for the uh, Miss Mouse, if one ever comes out. In the meantime, a card comes over here, and now Mugwort says, oh, well, you built, I'm gonna build. And he does number four. There goes that lookout I was thinking about. Oh shoot, now he's got three destinations. He's gonna complete two of these. Oh my gosh, I'm not doing very well. All right, and the castle! The castle just came out, which would have given me the king. Oh well, all right, well, Salvi, let's uh, not worry about that right now. I'm down to only one card in my hand, one pebble. Um, but with my last worker, I will come over here to complete the Harvest Festival, which is going to score me three points and prevent him from getting it, because I do have one, two, three, four production cards in play. Okay, so that was it. Um, oh, and that means, all right, so that's it. I'm now going to prepare for um, for summer because for me spring is over and that was not very pretty. So that means I get another worker and unlike when I was preparing for spring, this time I just get the worker. I do, um, but I also get to draw two more cards, which is good because I just emptied my hand and I've got a crane and a dungeon. Okay, so I'm starting to build up uh, for next round and I recall all my workers. So now going into summer, I've got four workers, and I am the master of the Harvest Festival. Nice. And, right, so that was it for me. We, uh, the, uh, Mr. Mugwort, he moves on to block the single pebble space and that space, and his new guy blocks over here, and he cannot get what he wanted, but he can come over here. He has just started the Grand Tour, so he scored that, which is a bummer because I only needed one more no, I, I needed two more destination buildings to be able to do that. So I was a long ways off from that. So he basically neutralized the three points I got from that. But now I'm going into summer. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm going into summer with four workers and one berry and three cards in my hand. And I cannot do this nice space. But now I could discard three cards to get three resources. I mean, I, all that's all I got is three cards. But it's not like I've just got three cards. I've got three plus eight cards. Although actually that's not true because these two are denied me. I've got three. I've got these six cards plus these three. First thing I could do is I could get rid of the three cards in my hand, get any three resources I need to build anything. And I gotta think about what am I chasing after. So far, I mean, I've got the peddler. I have not seen a general store yet. And. I, let's see, have I seen a monastery? Oh, here's the monastery. All right, so if I build this, um, right, the, if, you know, uh, well, this is a tricky thing uh, because, well, it has two worker placement spaces, but only one of them is available. If you've built a monastery and you have a monk, then both worker placement spaces are available. So, and this one is an interesting space. Give two resources to an opponent to gain four points. Now, that's not going to be very interesting in a solo game. But I do want to get it built on the off chance a wanderer comes out so I can complete the uh, Path of the Pilgrims. Rangers out. There's two rangers, but no wanderers. All right. So do, do I start trying to chase after that? Or do I hedge my bets? I mean, what else do I have in my hand? I've got my dungeon. A dungeon's an interesting one as well. Once you've got a dungeon, it's not worth any points. But you can start incarcerating other cards uh, to start powering this thing up. And if you have a ranger, you have two cards you can incarcerate instead of one. Oh! A monk and a dungeon lets me complete ministering to miscreants. I haven't seen a monk either. And if I get the monastery and a monk comes out, I could get him for free. That plus my dungeon, that means I could be a long ways towards completing several different objectives. Ah, let's see here. Or, you know what, if I just get a couple of berries, I could hire a historian um, who's a unique critter. I draw one card after I play a critter or construction. So every time I play a card, I get a card, which could be very handy uh, because when you run out of cards, well, you can't uh, feed the haven or, you know, this space over here. So does that make sense? Maybe it does. Let's see. Although, uh, again, 
Oh, you know what? Now I could use my university and tear down my first farm and get a bunch of resources two twigs, a resin, and something else, and a point, because I don't need the farm anymore because it has served its purpose of giving me the harvest festival. So that might make sense as well, because that would be four resources. That's the best I could do. I could get three berries here, three twigs here, three resources over there, but my university could give me four. That's pretty nice. Let's go on ahead. I'm throwing a point away, but it's okay because I'm getting the point back because um, you know my farm, I'm sure, is going to be absorbed by the university, and so that's going to be really great for me. So I'm getting rid of that. I'm getting back to two twigs. One resin, one of my choice, and one point. <sighs> Let's see. Do I want some pebbles? Do I want some more resin? What do I want to build? Uh, if, I, if I get a pebble, I could go for that monastery. And right now, that's the only way I can get a pebble because the pebble space is blocked. So now that I've done that, I've still got three workers. Do I go for this monastery? Not for its power because I would not give resources to the dummy to get points. That's just not good. Actually, I can't even do that. Yo, well, actually, although it's interesting, the dummy will never use those resources. So I guess I'll just put them back in the supply. So maybe it's not that bad. Um, or do I build this dungeon and start going down that road, which is, you know, whenever I play a construction or a critter, instead of putting into play, I can put them face down under here to arrest them. And, um, you know, yeah. And place critter uh, from your city face down beneath the dungeon to decrease the cost by three. So I practically make it free just to arrest people. Right. Hmm. <sighs> or the crane. The crane, which um, I could build right now. I have one pebble. When playing constructions, I get to discard this crane. I can discard it to, um, you know, make something... So that would, that would make this castle a lot cheaper. It would cost me one pebble to build this, and then I could discard this to have three pebbles. Now I just need three resin and two twigs. I've got the two twigs. I could get the two resin. I could get this castle built, which will give me four points plus one for every common construction in the city. Although I don't have, you know, I, I've got a farm, and, um, and uh, all right, no, the university is not a common. So, yeah, it's not that great. Oh, my gosh, so many options. I do kind of like this historian since I've, I've emptied my hands so much. So I think, I think I'll just go ahead and get some berries. Three delicious berries. One, two, three. And then I'll spend two of them to hire this historian. And so this is a decree card or a governance card, which means it's a power I have for the rest of the game. Whenever um, I, I draw a card, whenever I play a critter or construction, although I don't do that right now. Alrighty, so I did that. And now number seven goes away. Bye-bye to the ranger. This is a Wanderer. All right, that's his first Wanderer, so he's starting to build those up. A new one comes out. <gasps> There's the husband! Boom! I'm just going to go on ahead and build this husband for free. I don't need to spend three berries on this guy um, because I have a free farm. Yeehaw! Let's see here. And so I'll take him, and I get one of anything I want if paired with a wife, and if I have at least one farm in my city. I do. I'm going to pair him. So he, uh, he gives me any resource I want, plus he's worth two points. Plus, he has made the wife go from being worth two to five, and the wife does not, um, does not take up space. I can share space with the husband. So... Remember, because you can only have 15 cards in play. So they are together. I get one of any resource I want. Oh, I can get another pebble. All right, let's go on ahead and do that. And um, he is a production card. So he will do that again um, when I'm going into autumn. So that is very nice. And now, if I wanted, I could trash that farm. I'd be throwing it, I'd be keeping the point, but I'd be trashing it to get resources really quick. This university isn't too bad. But anyway, so a new thing comes out. <gasps> it's the Wanderer. Oh, please, please don't roll seven. Oh, well, you rolled an eight. It's a resin refinery, which is another production building, which is just going to be worth points for him. The more buildings he has, the more points he gets. And not the points that are there. I think it's one point for every regular building and two points for... Or maybe it's two points for every regular building and three points for every... Uh, um, oh, uh, uh, victory point building? I don't remember for certain. But anyway, so a, shop, a shopkeeper. Shopkeeper, shopkeeper. No, peddler. General store. All right. By the way, how am I doing for the Everdell Games? Have I gotten two of each type of building? Am I close to that? I've got one, two, three, um, four. I've got... Um, no, let's see. So I've, I've got one of the decrees, one of the victory points, and one wanderer. So I, yeah, I, I still need a bunch of cards before I could complete that. But okay, the wanderer is out. I want him. Um, if I built the lookout, he'd be free, but I didn't. 
that somebody else built it, but I'll go ahead and get him anyway. So now I've got the Wanderer and I just need to build the Monastery now, which is right there. And let's see here. So he's a Wanderer. He immediately has a, he's worked on point and he gets me draw three cards, which can be a good resource of itself. One, let's see, I got the Fool and I got the Shopkeeper and I got a Mine, a Mine. Okay, uh, another card comes out. It's another Wife and What's he going to take? He's going to take this shopkeeper, which is a decree card, and another one comes out, and here we go again. There's another mine. Uh, remember I was completely out of cards? I am back in the cards, folks, which means I can burn them over here to get whatever resource I need. So what do I want? I want to build this monastery so I can complete the uh, Path of the Pilgrims, because I've got my Wanderer in place now. So, and, and plus that means if I ever get a monk, I can get him for free and I have a shot because I haven't gotten rid of my dungeon yet. So let's do this. I need, I've got everything I need. I've got the resin and the pebble and the twig I need. Let's build a monastery, everybody. Okay, it's my second work, active worker placement spot I could go. Uh, if I come, this is the one, I, I'm, you know what? No, okay, so I've done that. I built, a new thing comes out. It's an undertaker and he says, oh, I would like this wife, which is... His, all right, so he's got one of each type of card now. All right. Uh, all right, so anyway, a new thing comes out. Now I will send a worker to the path, to complete the path of the pilgrims because I have a monastery and a wanderer. So I get three points for each worker in my monastery. Wait a minute. Okay, I don't want to do this right yet. I want to send workers over to my monastery. So. But I don't want to give up resources to give them to... No, I, okay, it's not worth it. I'm just going to... Oh, but I don't get any points. All right, it's three points for each worker in my monastery. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Which means I have to give up resources. But you know what? Um, a human player would go after those. The dummy player, uh, Mr. Mugwort, does, never goes for those. I'll worry about that later. I've still got two workers. My wanderer is out. I've got a pebble. You know, I'd like a mine to start generating pebbles. That would generate two pebbles for me for the end of the game. I've got a bunch of cards I could burn to get whatever I need. I've got a mine in my hand. So, what am I going to do? Oh my gosh, so many things. I mean, this game, like I said, is just chock-a-block with decision after decision. It's very rich. Um, very, I mean, I'm, you know, what, what started out so simple, I only had a couple workers and no resources, I'm still pulling off really big moves. I've built one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can build five more things before the game is up. Or no, six, because uh, the, the husband and wife take up only one space. There's a, sometimes other characters who do that as well. What am I going to do next? I don't know, folks, um, because this is starting to do me in. I think I'm just going to stop right there because you should have a pretty good idea of what Everdale feels like. And if you want to have some final thoughts, you can hit that eye in the top right corner screen in five, four, three, two, one.